Hey everyone, look, I washed my hair. <laughs> I usually have my hair up when we visit. Um, this subject, zonulin, is one of um, the sciencey things I love to talk about. I'm going to tell you quickly what the um, internet will tell me per verbatim, what zonulin is. It is a protein that modulates the permeability of the tight junctions between cells of the wall of the digestive, digestive tract. So let me tell you my Cliff Notes version of what that means to you. In the year 2000, which was almost 20 years ago, this amazing, brilliant pediatric gastroenterologist by the name of Alessio Fasano discovered zonulin. And what it does is our gut, a.k.a. small intestines, looks like a big long tube. But it's not really. It's a bunch of junctures that are pushed together like my fingers are that you see here. They're just sort of forced together so that nothing leaks out. But zonulin, it is discovered, triggers those tight junctures to open a little bit like this. And what happens when those open is undigested food particles float out of your small intestines, also known as your gut, and into the bloodstream. And when that happens, the immune system sounds an alarm because there is something outside of your small intestines that isn't supposed to be there. So it sends an inflammatory response to the gut to find out who the hell's making noise down there. And so zonulin, when it is triggered, will open the gut in a bunch of different places. And you'll end up with what's called leaky gut. You've heard of the term leaky gut before. That's what it is. So what stimulates zonulin to open the gut up? Hmm. Guess what? Gluten. So in a perfect world, in a perfect world, the, the tight junctures of the gut are going to open up a little bit and then they're going to close. They're going to open and they're going to close. But herein lies the problem and why gluten is so problematic for so many people. It triggers the zonulin to open these junctures. But the reason it doesn't get time to close back up and heal is because gluten is in everything. If you gluten, if you Google like celiac list or where do I find gluten, you are going to be shocked to discover what gluten is in. It's in ketchup. It's g glue, G-L-U. It's the glue that holds a lot of foods together in the processing world. And so if you get up in the morning and you eat a bagel for breakfast and then at 10 o'clock you, um, you have a muffin and at 1 o'clock you have a salad and you have croutons on it and then you have some cookies in the afternoon and then you have some ketchup on your hamburger at night, it means you're constantly bombarding your system with gluten and you're constantly opening these little junctures in your gut. So when you hear people talk about non-celiac gluten sensitivity that's what that is and it creates an immune response within the body so that you're in a constant state of inflammation your body is always fighting to try and figure out who the hell is leaked out of your gut and why they're there and what they can do to fix it and so that's what zonulin is and that's why you should care if you are interested in learning any more about this, there is this some Dr. Fasano is an amazing orator and he presents really well to laymen, doesn't make it super sciencey. You can Google his name, it's Alessio A L L E S S I O Fasano F A S A N O. And there is a great podcast you can find on YouTube at IHMC's um podcast IHMC's it's stem talk I think it's called IHMC is in Pensacola and they have interviewed Fasano multiple times I highly recommend it it's good listening and it's why a lot of us are inflamed zonulin put that in your pipe and smoke it that's what I got for you today if you're interested in learning more about my program 
Links in the comment section. Come back tomorrow. Good to see ya. Thanks for tuning in.